Hello, this is Scott Bacchano, editor of telecoms.com here at Digital Transformation World 2023. And I'm delighted to be speaking to Padma from Technotree and Nikos from MTN. If I could start with you, uh, Nikos, I, I can see that Technotree is talking about 5G and AI at the show. Um, 5G, obviously, we're well into the 5G cycle. And my impression is that the monetization angle of it has been a bit slow to ramp up. But I'd, I'd be fascinated to know your views on that. Good, good morning, good afternoon. Um, great here, being here. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, obviously, 5G is a, is a really big uh, growth opportunity engine for all the telecom operators. Uh, yes, you are right. Um, it is uh, being deployed from a technology perspective. We need to see uh, better adoption from customers and end users and use cases. Um, we actually see now a lot of, um, where, where I come from, a lot of uh, opportunities in the B2B space. So private networks, for example, is very, very interesting. And there is a lot of automation, industrial opportunities. Um, uh, we have customers, for example, in our territories like South Africa, where uh, mines and other industrial locations actually do see very, very significant value in uh, deploying 5G in their uh, operations. Um, we have seen a lot of things in uh, other places of the world, like in my home country, in Europe, for example, ports. Um, very, very uh, interested um, in doing pilots and deploying 5G capabilities that really enable them to streamline their operations and extract value out of the operational efficiency and the automation and the, um, the innovation that one can actually bring to bear with 5G capabilities that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Uh, and uh, in, in, our, in our backyard, we think that you know, 5G is a real opportunity for Africa to leapfrog some of the things. Uh -huh. that can be actually achieved by really adopting technology okay. uh, as early as possible. So we, we, feel, uh, we feel very upbeat about it. And uh, with Spectrum and other enablers becoming available more and more and technology becoming more efficient, I think we're going to see uh, some good things uh, coming up. OK, well, that's good to hear. And, and, and definitely is consistent with, with what I've been hearing over the years, how, how it's very much the enterprise angle with 5G, much more than with previous generations. Just one more thing um, before I uh, talk to Padma. You mentioned automation, and, and, and we can see that AI is a major theme right now. It certainly has been a big tech buzzword for all of this year. Perhaps you could just talk a little bit from the network side what um, impact AI is having. Look, I mean, the networks are becoming more and more complex, right? So the service is running over the networks. The complexity in the operation is uh, uh, continuously increasing. There's never a moment that things went uh, simpler. They're actually becoming more and more complicated and more and more difficult to implement and deploy and operate. So, you know, AI inevitably offers an amazing opportunity to be more, uh, let's say, lean and mean in how you operate. Um, cost management and, you know, ability to extract value out of your network without having too much cost is uh, crucial for the, uh, our performance, also financial performance. And, um, you know, AI will, will help or is already helping a lot of these things. So you hear a lot about autonomous networks, for example, or AI operations. Um, so we'll see things about predictability of uh, outages, um, preventive maintenance, uh, enabling us to reduce cost of energy uh, using AI techniques and AI capabilities. And, and to be honest, as to differentiate, it's not so much, so much the generative AI that you know, people are talking about the buzz. It's actually, the, um, you know, someone called it traditional AI. I actually yeah. said someone, I never thought I would ever say traditional yes. AI in my, in my uh, tenure. But yes, so AI as we know it for the last few years, as opposed to the last few months, yeah. is actually a very important aspect in, um, in helping us deliver not only uh, good quality to our customers, but also much more efficient operation. But great, that's very interesting. Thanks a lot. So Padma, I mean, pretty much similar questions to you, but, but perhaps from a, a software and a commercial perspective. Um, do you concur with what we were just talking about with 5G and especially the enterprise opportunities? I absolutely concur with it. And I think while the evolution has been slow, I think uh, the maturity of 5G and the complementary aspect of AI coming into play and the convergence of 5G, AI and cloud really opens a, a whole new set of possibilities in the market in terms of high speed, low latency uh, capability on the network, um, intelligent insights into business, improved productivity in so many industries like the way 
Nikos talked about, whether it's energy, whether it's mines, whether it is healthcare, whether it is uh, e-commerce and fintech, all of these industries stand to benefit from the convergence of 5G and AI. And then the integration of IoT devices, AR, VR type uh, experiences on the network are all going to improve the whole experience that we're going to bring uh, with the convergence of AI and um, 5G. I almost uh, liken it to uh, a, a moment in time, historic time, when you know we moved from a printing press to computers to internet and now to AI. The level of productivity increase that AI can bring into, into play in every line of business is going to be revolutionary uh, in the process. And I think with the ability of having cloud integrated, uh, processing of large amounts of data, you know, using uh, language models that a generative AI today provide, our ability to use cloud infrastructure on demand and scale the type of processing power required only would enhance the ability to provide more insights and intelligence into the business. Yeah, so that, I, I think that's a really good summary. Um, it, it, a lot of it is just about productivity and efficiency and just getting more stuff done. And, and, and AI is obviously a big part of the 5G mix and the telecoms mix on that one. So thank you very much. That was thank great. Thank you. Thank you.